So it's nine o'clock and normally I don't start the vlog this early. I usually wait till I've edited the previous one first, but um, the package that I was talking about that said it was delivered and I never got it, uh, Christian just left for work and it was sitting outside of our door and it's been opened. Um, I got the thing that was in it. <laughs> it's all in there, it's all good. Um, so it confirmed my suspicion that it was misdelivered. So it got delivered to someone in a different suite because what's confusing is that the number to buzz to an apartment is not the same number as the apartment number. And I always put the buzzer number on my package when I order something. And um, I guess this must have got delivered to the suite number that corresponds to my buzzer number. And the person wrote on the package, stop putting your buzzer number on it because it goes in my box. And I'm like, really, how many times have you received something of mine in yours? Like, never? <laughs> Maybe a couple times? Like, I'm trying to think of how many things, like, because I know one time a small package was left on the bench downstairs outside the mailboxes. That happened, like, once. And I think one time there was a letter, but that wouldn't have had a buzzer number on it anyway. One time a letter was just sitting on the bench, like a mail person must have accidentally stuck it in the wrong box. So they're acting like this happens all the time, and I'm like, no, it doesn't. I always get my packages to me, so whatever. But the good thing is I have this because I was going to have to phone Canada Post today because this was marked as delivered two days ago, and I was like, no, I, I don't have it. <laughs> so, um, yes, it was misdelivered. So now I have it, so that's good. You think this is the perfect spot to lay down while I'm trying to edit? Baby, right on mommy's wrist. That's right, I see you. Are you being my little baby? My little cuddle baby? Now's the time when I have to get back up though. The vlog's done being edited and I need to put some clothes on. Because I showered already, but I have not gotten dressed. Oh, oh, baby. Chocobon! Look at the weather! It's all nice and sunny! So, I figured it's a perfect chance to go on a bike ride. So, I've got my hair in a little pony. Actually, I might have to make it lower than that. Anyway, um, I'm gonna go for a bike ride at Central Park and then come home. I'm gonna put everything in this little bag and this will sit inside my bike's basket. I've got my credit card and then one train ticket because I'm taking the train there and then I ride my back home or my bike home. Um, let's see. Also need water bottle, keys. I think that's it other than my helmet and basket. Oh, and my phone, which was back there because I like to watch videos when I get ready. Right, baby. The transit system here is finally moving on to their compass card system, which is like a card you tap. So you get to the SkyTrain station and you tap the card and then the little gate will open. Because right now it's just been honor system. You go to the machine, you buy a little paper ticket, you get on the train, and sometimes there will be police officers or SkyTrain staff checking tickets, but not that often. And so anyway, they're moving to a system where you like tap in on buses, tap in to get to the SkyTrain, that kind of thing. And uh, I think they're switching over completely starting in January. And so that's why I'm bringing my credit card is so that when I go to the SkyTrain station, I can buy one of those cards. And then I brought just a normal ticket as like a backup. So, yes. Okay. I think I have everything. I don't want to leave my cute babies. You can ride in my basket. Oh, look at that. That's my favorite thing is when they grab balls in their mouths like that. So melts my heart. It's too cute. Okay, so here I am, made it. So pretty. So fresh, so awesome. The ground's a bit wet. Um, I'm thinking my front tire could use a bit more air, so I might buy a bicycle pump soon. This is one 
thing I'll miss if we move is I won't be able to come here anymore. Pretty. There's not many people here right now, which is pretty nice. Probably because it's not the weekend and it's not summer either. beautiful is this though. <sighs> There's a lot of once upon a time stuff that gets filmed here, especially this last season. Tons of stuff. Cute. Oh, look, it's Kiki chasing Midna. How cute. Maybe it's Ben chasing Maddie. Ah! <laughs> That's cute. Sorry, I don't have any food. You're a right chunker, aren't you? This must be for the winter or something. They're so fat compared to usual. Oh my god. You're also chunky. Probably also just thicker fur. It's probably a big part of it. So cute. Birds. You know what this looks like? A portal to the underworld. Actually, it's probably the other pond. I wanna sit down, but the bench is both wet and slimy. I am feeling the struggle with this bike ride. It's like pure friction when trying to bike. I think it's a combination of the wet dirt and my tires being a little flat, so I definitely wanna pump them up before coming out next time. Oh, you little bike thief. What? What are you doing? You little squirrel kiki. Are you kiki in squirrel form? What? I don't have any food, baby. I'm sorry, don't bite me. He's so cute. I'm sorry, baby, I don't have food. We're not supposed to feed the squirrels, but everyone does it anyway, so I should bring some food, because it's like winter time, and they're gonna get really hungry, huh? Yeah. Yep. This definitely looks more like a portal to the underworld. Okay, these birds just came out of nowhere. Hi, you're everywhere. I was just checking Twitter and I looked up and I was like, hmm, how did they get here? <laughs> They've risen from the portal. Ducks from hell. I'm leaving and I just remembered, I forgot to tap out when I left the Sky Train station. Jesus. I don't know how long it's been, but if I can tap out again within 90 minutes, I won't get charged three zone fare. I didn't go three zones, but if you don't tap out, they automatically charge you the full fare. So I gotta hurry back. Well, that was a pretty good workout. <laughs> my legs are jelly. I don't know if my tap out at the SkyTrain worked because um, I should have tapped out of a different station, but like I took the SkyTrain there, but I bike back. So uh, it wasn't the station I was supposed to tap out of. So I think if you like tap in and out of the same station, it doesn't work. I'm not sure. It gave me a little red light when I tapped it. So I would assume you're supposed to get a green light. It's confusing because the doors don't work right now. Like I think some of them do, but right now like the doors are open for the people who don't have the compass card. And so like, I don't know if my taps are working or not. <laughs> Baby's laying on mommy stuff. Yes, because I leave my stuff everywhere, don't I? So I just spent an hour watching YouTube videos, 
slash checking Twitter while eating an apple dipped in peanut butter. <laughs> My body's like, why did you do this to me? I was hoping I would feel more energized after the bike ride and then I'd be like, yeah, let's go to the post office. But now I'm like, I don't want to leave the house again. So I think I'm going to go to the post office tomorrow because I have to be up early and get ready and go to the mall with Christian because he still has not picked out something for his mom and I'm going with him because we both don't trust his judgment <laughs> and technically the gift would be from both of us anyway so um, he really wants my input and so I'm gonna go with him before he has to go to work. I had to take down the kitchen garbage and I decided it's time to take down all the recycling as well. I already took down a huge box of stuff and some of the bottles and cans. Now I'm doing the rest. Oh, this is our other <laughs> cardboard area. We're supposed to take it down every time that gets full, but then I had a whole other big full area just because so much has come in the mail lately. And so, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna use this plastic container to get all this stuff that is gonna fall as soon as I try moving that teeny tiny box. It's time for the SpongeBob joke of the day. What game does SpongeBob play with his shoes? Hide and squeak. You want to know what's heavy? This set up right here. <laughs> so heavy when I go to do like an aerial shot of something, it's just like more than I'm used to. And I'm like, uh, how? How do some people carry these things around all day? It's like, I mean, you wouldn't have everything on here, but even the camera is responsible for most of the weight. So yeah, it's my little ring light. Le heavy. So messy. Looks like a little baby chewed on this. I was debating whether or not to keep the books with the dolls, and then I was like, eh, I don't think so. It's kind of like bent up and stuff, and I was like, wait, that's the kitties doing bad babies. I don't think I'm gonna keep it though. I was only planning on filming two more toy videos, but I was having so much fun with it that I recorded a third. So I think I have, wait, I already uploaded one of the six I recorded this week, didn't I? Yeah, the key rings. So that means I have five plus the two Pokemon card ones. So I have seven videos filmed right now that are unedited for the toy channel. So I'm gonna edit as many of those as I can um, before I leave for holidays. And I have two art videos to edit. So one for this Friday and then one for next Friday for Christmas. Just so I have something to post when I'm gone because I don't wanna be editing videos while I'm gone. So I'm just going to make sure I have all those edited and ready to go before I leave. So. It feels good that I'm not scrambling in the last two days to get this stuff done. Like, I just have to edit now. Pretty simple. I got distracted by my Humans of New York books. I never did get through the whole thing. Like, this is my bookmark and this is the beginning. So, I've got a long way to go, but it's such an addicting read. Like, it's basically a bunch of photos and then stuff written next to the photos. Most people, I think, know what Humans of New York is because they have so many Facebook followers, like, over... 16 million, they might even be at 17 million now, so. Yeah, that was good. This would also be really great reference for drawing though, like just for studies, not for stuff I would sell, but just for like my own personal studies in my sketchbook. There's so many different kinds of people and like a lot of really interesting looking people too. So I feel like it'd be great drawing practice for drawing people. So I'm glad I thought of that. Anyway, I'm gonna go now, get some food. Just random thought before I head out. Um, I feel like ever since I started my live stream schedule, I feel like, I don't know, I just feel like my entire life is better scheduled and that everything like falls into place. Like I don't feel stressed out time-wise. It could also be that it's coinciding with like ending Patreon and not having store orders. Like that's a huge thing, but um, Ever since I committed to Tuesdays and Fridays, I feel way better about getting things done. I think a big part of it is that I don't stress about getting my art videos done in time because that's usually what I work on during the Tuesday live stream. And so it's like time specifically set aside that I can't push aside. Like if I wasn't live streaming, I might change my mind and do something else that day. But because I'm committing to live streaming, I get it done and that just feels really good, I think. So 
I've just been feeling a lot better lately and um, yeah, just happier and stuff. Replying to emails by candlelight. <sighs> My boss from the animation studio I worked at emailed me to see if I wanna help animate some stuff, but I just don't have the time. Like it would be kinda cool to keep working on stuff even if it's like one day a week or something. But, I don't know, I just don't have time to squeeze it into my schedule. But it would be neat to work on the projects and um, help on the movie they're currently working on. But I can't. I'm sorry, but I can't. <laughs> like, if I had time to animate, I would rather animate my own little shorts for YouTube or something. So, yeah. So I drew new names for the giveaway this afternoon. And uh, one of the two people got back to me a couple hours ago, so yay, congrats Ethan and thanks for getting in touch with me. And he says it's his birthday. He's from Australia, so it's probably the 17th for him right now. So I'm assuming that would be his birthday. So yeah, happy birthday if you're watching this. That just, I thought was a really funny coincidence, like you win the giveaway on your birthday, what? So that's crazy. <laughs> so now we just wait for Dylan to get back to me. So. You, you. I'm excited because his OC looks pretty cool, so I'm excited to draw her. And I can't do that till I get back from the holidays, but yeah. And then all the other stuff that was shown in the giveaway announcement video, like a little moleskin sketchbook, little stickers, a little coloring book, pencils, uh, jelly roll, eraser, hi to button packs, oh I already said that, these are candies, these are erasers, this piggy's an eraser, 